This video's featured creature is known as the coffin fly because it can dig down six feet into the earth to feed on buried corpses. Actually, whether or not these flies dig down to coffins is still being debated. It's written in Wikipedia that, quote, the name coffin fly is due to their being found in coffins, digging six feet deep in order to reach buried corpses, unquote. However, entomologists at Penn State University say, quote, there is no evidence supporting conjectures that the adult flies of Megacelia scalaris burrow six feet down to enter coffins. It is more likely that their eggs or larvae were already on the corpse prior to burial. Unquote. The entomologists also report that there are records of Megacelia scalaris breeding on corpses and then developing through its entire life cycle within coffins, thereby acquiring the name coffin fly. In all honesty, though, you're more likely to find this fly in your home where it is usually a minor nuisance. These flies are similar in size to gnats and are attracted to decaying food, such as rotting potatoes, onions, or other stored tubers. However, their presence can also indicate broken septic lines or cracked septic tanks. But these flies, like vinegar flies, are attracted to many forms of moisture, including overripe bananas. You know, those bananas no one in your home is going to eat, but you're saving them because you're finally going to make some banana bread. You're never going to make banana bread. Additionally, while this species is slightly larger than vinegar flies, which are teeny tiny like gnats, they are smaller than a grain of rice and may reach two millimeters in length. And before I forget, this is just one species in the genus Megacelia, of which there are more than 1,600. Megacelia scalaris and others in the genus is also called the scuttlefly, as it has a propensity to run erratically across surfaces rather than take flight right away. That too can help with identification. But really, a magnifying glass or a camera with a macro lens is a big help in identification. Megacelia scalaris can breed in many types of decaying plant and animal matter, including humans, and is commonly found in a variety of environmental habitats. According to entomologists at Texas A&M University, Megacelia scalaris is commonly associated with indoor death or neglect cases of humans or household animals. Because the larvae of these species feed on carrion and decaying vegetation, it has been a useful species in forensic entomology for homicide investigators to estimate time of death. The entomologists say while Megacelia scalaris is widely encountered in forensic entomology investigations, little is known about the biology of the species. I hope you found this video informative. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And happy Halloween.